How you guys doing today? All right, guys. Today is my very first smallmouth wading trip of the year. It's Memorial Weekend, the Saturday of Memorial Weekend. I try to get to places that ain't crowded. There's no one here, at least not at this access. I'm gonna wade for some smallies using soft plastics mostly. Little bitty stream. It's got some good holes in it, nice and cold. Cool, clear water. We're gonna see what happens, guys. I'm gonna get wet. Got everything waterproof. We're gonna try to catch some nice bronze backs. Maybe a large mouth or two, and maybe a shadow bass or two. I'm starting off with an ultralight rod. Just a Berkeley cherry wood with a Fluger President six pound cigar fluorocarbon. My first lure of choice is the Berkeley Power Bait on a VMC Moon Eye. It's kind of a split tail shiner type bait. Let's see what happens. There's a smallmouth right in front of me. But he ignored it. Oh, there's two of them on their beds right there. There we go. Oh, yes, that's a nice one, too, man. Oh, yes, it is. Nice small mouth. I gotta play these fish because I'm using the uh, light line. But since I'm fishing really clear water, I'm using real light line anyway. Not because I want to really. He's not bad, he's 12 inch or anyway. Not a bad small mouth, hey. We're on the board. <clears throat> we are on the board, guys. Yeehaw. Yes, indeed. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. First smallie of the year. I came to the right place today. I just know I did. Away from people is the key. Nice little smallie. He's about 13 pounds. On that good lure, man, you cannot go wrong with it. <sighs> nice small mouth. We're going to get her back in. And off she goes. Sweet. Another two pound smallmouth right in front of me, man. Holy Moses. Got him. I got him. I'm keeping tension this time. It's a big one. I trying to keep him from hopping. Keeping that pole really low. I think I may keep him this time. Yes. So far so good. 
I really need to get a little dip net just for these creeks. Oh yeah, he's 14. He is 14, guys. Finally, yes. The sand off of him. Yes, yes. 14 inch smallmouth. Finally, redemption. I did not give up, I just kept throwing and throwing. Yes. What a small mouth. Now that is why I came right there that's exactly why i came here that is why i came that fish right there is why i came what a tank very long and slender but no he's about he's 15 inches that is a beautiful beautiful small mouth guy Awesome fish. That right there, this one fish made the trip worth it. Look at that. Look at that old bronzy. Old bronzy Jones. Man, what a beauty. A nice 15 inch smallmouth, guys. Wowzers. Two foot of water. Don't have to be in a deep hole. During those warmer months, those fish prefer those that moving water. Yeah, man, it took me tightening that drag, guys. I have to take a little bit of a chance, is what it is. I had that line so loose that a bluegill would have been able to pull it out. Sometimes you gotta have it a little stronger than that when you're finesse fishing because you will not get a, be able to get a good hook set if you have it that weak, you just won't. Keeps shutting off for no reason. That's a third dime in the last minute. Just caught a nice 13 inch smallmouth. Fairly decent one. Oh boy, I'm not having the best on. I think it's just overheating. It's the only thing I can think of. Beautiful smallmouth. Look at that. Nice gold. Got her on the pink pulsar, guys. <sighs> guys, these holes are so small. Once you get one fish, it's time to move on. But I'm telling you what, it's a blast. My main mistake today was missing fish. I have still 
lost way more than I hoped. It's been that bad. Just been God awful for fish getting off. And it's mostly the hook. I think the hook is the issue. Well, the first, the first three fish was the drag. I had the drag too weak, but I've lost way too many fish to jumping. This hook just ain't got a big enough gap and it ain't sharp enough. Got him. I don't know if it's big. Yeah, it's not bad. It is not bad. I kept him from jumping by keeping that pole all the way down, guys. Another 13 incher. Oh my. <clears throat> yes. That's the trick to these smallmouth. Keep that rod almost touching the ground when you're reeling them in. The holder you rock, hold that rod tip, the greater their chance of leaping out of the water. When they think about jumping, you pull that rod down and you pull as hard as you can to keep tension on it. Small mouth cannot resist. Bright pink, guys, I'm telling you, they love it. It doesn't matter if the water's crystal clear. They cannot resist that bright pink they absolutely love it another 13 incher every small mouth i've caught today has been quality guys i haven't got none under 12 none i wish i'd get some more 15s but hey i'll take these all day long Nice small mouth. Nice. Whew. go first cast in this hole guys another 12 and another shadow are behind him awesome Whew. this may be my last hole I don't know I may keep going wow I have not caught any fish under 12 inches today, guys. I may not have caught numbers due to me losing about over half of them. But the ones I did land were all nice. Every one. Every single one of them nice. This is the smallest one of the day right here. And he's dead on 12. Most of them have been 13. There we go. All right, smallest fish of the day, 11 inches. And he ruined my lure. Time for a new lure. Yep, definitely it's the smallest guy of the day. 11 incher. Go get bigger, buddy.
Got him. Oh yeah, this may be a nice one, maybe. He's not bad, he's 13. Oh yeah. Yes. If I get him, this is number eight, guys. This is one of the better ones of the day. So I can't complain now, I did all right. That walk back to the car sometimes does it, guys. Especially in the evening. Yes. 13 inch. Yes. All right. Heck yeah. Heck yes. Maybe even a little bigger. It's a nice small mouth. Yeah, he's 13. On that green curly tail, guys. Nice small. Another female. Caught mostly females today. Most of the males, I think, were the smart ones getting off. I don't know. I did catch that biggest one of the day was a male for sure, though. Heck yeah, guys, that really, that really helped, I'm telling you. That one last fish on the walk back to the car always does it for me. Especially when you caught kind of a low number day and you, and you say to yourself, just one more nice one would do it. Well, that's what just happened. And you know what? I still got four or five holes to go. I can hear the cars going by, so I'm getting pretty close, but not there yet. There he is. Oh my, it's a big one. I can barely turn his head. I can't turn his head. That's how nice it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a fish. Oh yeah. Another one just like the one I just caught. Maybe even a tad longer. No, exactly the same though. Oh my. Two more nice fish, guys. Holy cow. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right in the roof of the mouth, a hard spot. Whew, guys, that is awesome. Two of them within two minutes time, exact same size. He may even go 13 and a half. It's a nice smallie. Wowzers. That evening bite is on, guys. Bright overhead sun is gone. Small mouth just can't resist that lure. They're not a picky fish, man. I'm telling you. Just get out there and get after them. They are really one of the least pickiest fish there is. When they're biting, they're biting. When they're not, they're not. Once you get on them, that is one of the rarest fish as far as they will bite all day long. 100 degrees, you gotta find them cold creeks, guys. They bite all day long. You don't have to just fish in the morning or the evening. You can go all day. They bite at noon. They bite at three in the, mo uh, three in the day. They're there. All right, let's get her back in. 
Actually, that's a male. Finally, my second male.